This is uh, St. Gilgen in Austria. It's located in central Austria on the uh, northern shore of Lake Wolfgang Sea. And this station over here is the ferry station that you see um, right to uh, off to the right over here. And I just took uh, a ferry from uh, Wolfgang C. St. Wolfgang, I should say. And it was about a uh, 30 minute uh, ferry ride. And now I'm gonna do a short, uh, go for a short walk, explore this uh, beautiful uh, town. It's called St. Gilgen. And uh, St. Gilgen is uh, famous because of its uh, location and also Mozart's mother was born here in St. Gilgen and his sister lived in this uh, town. I'm not sure if you've heard of uh, Mozart or not. He is a famous uh, composer. Um, he was one of the uh, most uh, um, famous uh, composer classic music if I'm not uh, if I'm not mistaken so his mother was born in this uh, in this town and it's pretty uh, very uh, small small town and there is a cable car in this town that you can take all the way to the mountain to take you all the way to the summit I forgot the name of the of the mountain and you enjoy a very nice uh, view of the uh, of the lake Wolfgang Sea Lake Wolfgang Sea and also Saint uh, Wolfgang is a is a beautiful town if you are interested you can check out my video I did a walk and talk video in that town as well I'm not sure what's going on here looks like it's uh, I don't know it's a school or over here I see a bunch of uh, kids with the uh, uniform today is Monday probably it's good it's a uh, school thing because school season already started it's not it's not uh, summer anymore and the weather is very nice today so uh, if you are in, in this region, the Salzgammergut region, then uh, consider visiting this, uh, this town. Especially if you are uh, staying in, uh, in Salzburg, this will be a short uh, drive from Salzburg. And there is also a direct bus from Salzburg to uh, St. Gilgen bus number 150 and then if you're planning to go to St. Uh, St. Wolfgang town from here you can take a ferry along the lake to enjoy the view of the uh, of the lake and this is what I did I actually came from St. Wolfgang and it was a beautiful uh, beautiful right I'm not sure if I should go right or, or left let's go right first and uh, this is a hotel very nice hotel and I visited this uh, town back in uh, back in 2018 it still looks the same let's go let's go this way There's a beautiful uh, church over here. If you Google this uh, town, St. Gilgen, you will see this church. And also you will see this uh, building over here. So this spot seems to be uh, famous for some reason. Because you're going to see it on, uh, on Google Images. If you Google this uh, town, just type, uh, look it up, just type St. Saint, Saint Gilgen. Austria and see what comes up 
hopefully my video will will pop up as well and this is the this is the good thing about uh, visiting um, Austria in the in the fall in the early fall all the way to October late October you will enjoy most of the uh, sites because they're not crowded so the summer crowd is already gone by early September because uh, schools already started so you're not gonna see a lot of tourists look at the uh, look at this fountain I'm not sure if this is the statue of uh, Mozart or not what a beautiful uh, small historic town you can stay here in uh, in St. Gilgen if you're driving uh, if you're driving then uh, then you can uh, also stay in Salzburg if you have a car and visit this uh, town but if I were you uh, and you want a very nice central location that gives you access to uh, attractions in the south and attractions in the north you need to stay somewhere in the middle and that will be a city called Bad Eisel and that's where I am staying and I uh, I booked a hotel over there for uh, eight days and then I'm gonna switch to an Airbnb accommodation because I got a really good deal uh, for the hotel what a beautiful walk almost the whole town is to myself only a few people over here very nice uh, very nice small town and I'm trying to uh, there is a cable car that goes all the way up but in the fall they uh, they close early so um, I will see if I can squeeze that visit in this video the cable car look at this uh, look at this building I really like the uh, the look of the uh, historic Austrian uh, buildings they're very cute I also did uh, a walk and talk video in Salzburg so if you're uh, interested in Salzburg check out my video it might be helpful so this street ends here and that's the main street over there so if you're taking bus 150 it's gonna drop you on this main street actually if you are uh, taking a bus bus 150 stops right next to the cable car uh, station that would be very convenient for you if you're planning to go all the way up to the summit to enjoy the uh, the view of Lake Wolfgang Sea because it's just right next to the bus stop so if you are uh, visiting this town that will be a nice uh, thing to do when you uh, when you first uh, arrives in this beautiful town and also it's a short uh, walk from the ferry station that you saw earlier but I chose to walk the other direction to do my walk and talk videos but if you do want to do the cable car right after the ferry ride it's gonna be only 20 meters away it's not that uh, it's not that far and I'm gonna do I'm gonna go now there hopefully they're still uh, open look at the uh, look at this building this uh, seems to be a nice uh, small uh, square this is a restaurant I'm not sure if it's open or, or closed The weather is very nice today, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's warm and uh, sunny as well 
also if you're planning to uh, to do any uh, mountain activities to go up to the mountains when it's sunny day that's the perfect day to do uh, the uh, mountain activities like you go up you take the cable car all the way up to the mountain and enjoy the the views from above not quite sure where I am going right now I uh, kind of uh, getting lost but uh, I just want to go and, uh, and explore the uh, residential area trying to stay away from the touristy uh, attractions and, and go a little bit further to see how the local people live here the homes and all that kind of stuff the uh, one of the other activities that you might consider if you are in this region is to go uh, visit uh, a mountain called Dachstein mountain in Obertron you can check out that video there is a cable car that takes you all the way to uh, to a viewing platform called uh, Five Fingers. It's basically you go all the way up, up like 6,500 feet elevation. Wow, I'm not sure if this is a museum or not. It seems to be open, but I'm not here to visit museums. Let's go. Uh, let's go continue the the journey to to the cable car. So that one in uh, in Obertron. I spent almost the whole day uh, there on the mountain. You can check out that one. There is uh, an ice cave. One of the largest ice caves uh, in the world is located uh, there. And also there is a, a mammoth uh, a cave over there. Look at the uh, these buildings. Very nice apartments. Yeah. See the beauty of uh, renting an apartment, I mean uh, getting an Airbnb accommodation is that you get a sense of uh, how people, uh, local people live, you know, um, as opposed to uh, renting a, a hotel uh, room. See the cable car is over there, as you, you see it, I'm not sure if you can see it or not. That means the, uh, the station is somewhere, somewhere there. We will go back there and uh, and uh, we'll see if it's still open. See, I got to the uh, ticket office. Like I said before, it's just right, right next to the bus station over here, and the parking is somewhere here. So it's very convenient if you're coming from Salzburg. You just park. Uh, the parking lot is uh, is there, but I'm not sure how much you're gonna spend for the parking. And here is the cable car. So I'm gonna try to go all the way up. Hopefully they're still open. So we will see. And here is where you buy a ticket. See, I am on, uh, on this cable car. In this cable car by myself over here. And this is what it looks like. Let me show you. So, uh, so it's perfect opportunity to film and talk freely because there's nobody here with me so I don't have to worry about annoying other people but look at the uh, look at the view so basically the the lake that you see there is called Wolfgang Sea um, Lake Wolfgang Sea and I took a ferry to uh, from uh, St. Wolfgang town it took about 30 minutes to get to uh, to St. Gilgen and I, uh, I did my walk and talk earlier in that beautiful town in St. Uh, Gilgen and I also did the same thing, walk and talk in uh, St. Wolfgang town so that is a beautiful town as well if you're interested you can check out that video and the glass uh, right now the, the cable car glass is not clear it's not clean so the image might not be uh, 
good quality so it's not my fault so forgive me if that happens and uh, and the weather is so beautiful it doesn't get better than this it's not uh, uh, cloudy because if it's cloudy or foggy you're not you're not gonna enjoy the view that I am enjoying right now and what a beautiful uh, beautiful experience this has been I was back in uh, I was uh, here actually in 2018 and it was a little bit cloudy the view was not that clear back then I came here in May 2018 and it almost rained every single day so if you're coming here so make sure you, you do this activity cable car you take cable car all the way up but uh, check out the timetable because they close early is they don't uh, stay open uh, until uh, sunset so they close early and there is a hike that you can do you can actually hike once you get up and also you can also hike down if you don't want to take the cable the round trip uh, ticket you can just do one way and then you come back uh, you can hike all the way but I'm not gonna do that it's gonna take a lot of time hiking down all the way Right, I made it to the top, to the summit, and there is a short walk to a viewing platform. But let me uh, share the view off to the right over here. Isn't that something? It's really beautiful. And there are a few uh, uh, restaurants, cafeteria, cafes over here in case you want to uh, to to eat something there is one up there and another one just uh, just over there so you have two you have two options but I think they close early depending on what season you're coming if you're coming in the summer probably they have longer um, hours but in the fall, they they, uh, they close early. Just keep that in mind. See, to go to the viewing platform, you go this way. So I came from there. And when you see this uh, cafeteria or lodge, I'm not sure what that is. Just make a, make a left and, and keep going. I'm almost getting to the summit over there and I'm enjoying beautiful uh, scenery on both on both sides left you see this uh, mountains and right you see the, uh, the San Gilgen town with the uh, Wolfgang Sea Lake Wolfgang Sea and along the way you see uh, you see a few uh, benches in case you want to sit here and enjoy this uh, spectacular view. I'm really lucky. Uh, the last uh, two days uh, it's been uh, sunny, which is uh, which gave me the excellent, perfect uh, opportunity to to go up the mountains. Hopefully it's not gonna rain this week because the weather forecast shows there might be rain coming. I made it to the top over here. As you can see, a lot of people are enjoying the scenery right here. You can sit here and bring your uh, lunch with you snacks and coffee and all that kind of stuff and enjoy this spectacular view and over here you see the cross over there 
and if you go up you will see another another view from the other side over here isn't that something and they have a bench over here it's really beautiful it really is there seems to be another trail this one I'm not sure where it's gonna take you I see another trail all the way probably to another area you can spend spend months here you know while exploring this beautiful region there is no shortage of things to do in this uh, beautiful region of Austria I'm gonna end the video here and I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you enjoyed it please give me a thumbs up and I will see you in my next videos of Austria have a good day now